Yo, what is up guys, it is Infected Survivor here, and today we are doing another episode in the Reviewing Characters series for Garden Warfare 2. And today we are going to be switching back over to the plants for this episode, and we are going to be reviewing um, the Camo Cactus, which is quite an interesting character. Um, very much divided on um, whether this is a good or bad character in the community. Uh, but today I'm going to give you my thoughts and a quick review on um, how effective this character is. Um, so th as this is the first time we're doing the cactus, I'm um, just going to quickly go over the abilities. Um, I think that the walnut, so the R1 abilities, um, realistically, um, I don't think it really matters which one you use, whether you use the bling maiden or the regular tall nut, same with the potato mines. And but I do believe that the dark drone is far better than the normal garlic drone. So I do feel that if it does end up coming in rooks, I definitely would purchase it for 500,000 coins. Uh, especially if you really like cacti. Um, it's just so much better than the regular drone. Now that that's out of the way, we will get straight into the camo cactus as a character. Um, camo cactus is a very interesting kind of a character um, she does 66 damage a hit with uh, a critical hit and 33 damage um, if it's not so the damage seems to be quite high now the downside to this character is that she really is only good at uber long range um, like if you're gonna get if you're getting pushed up to up close and personal as this character you're realistically gonna lose the fight because um, she's really slow fire rate right? um, that is literally as fast as it shoots a fairly slow reload only five shots in the clip so overall there's a lot of downsides to this character in terms of right fire ammo um, the abilities overall aren't the best the dark drone is very good but the potato mines and the, the the walnuts are a little bit meh the potato mines you can get the odd kill there here and there but overall it's not really the best ability in the game um however in saying all of this i do not mind the camo cactus at all at low level however um she's very 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 bad in my opinion not a good character because the reload is very slow and it, it, it's just it's, it's quite pain it's very slow leveling up as well because she's quite a slow character overall um the shots are slow she, you, you, it's literally a camping character again another character that i'd say is specialized in turf um, just because of the fact that turf you can camp a lot better um, you don't have to necessarily get up close in person with people and I think that's kind of what she's best for um, I wouldn't use this character anywhere other than turf to be totally honest however in saying that we are going to be playing her into Vanquish now so I'm sure that will be interesting I've never played this character into Vanquish it is only normal AI so um, it's not it shouldn't be too bad um yeah so i quite like the cactus um, the cactus class as a whole to be honest as you've probably gathered from the the first few episodes of this now i am quite into sort of sitting in the back just camping all the way back and just picking people off from a distance i, I quite like that play style um however you have to be very accurate with this character. You can't really afford to miss your shots. There's no splash. There's nothing like that. It's just direct impact. 66 damage. That's it. Um, the shot is not on point. Um, however. Um, overall. Do I think this is a great character? Um, realistically. Unless you are going to sit literally in the back of a turf map picking people off then this character is definitely not someone i'd recommend to play um because it's 
it's like you can't really do anything up close. To be honest, there isn't really anything you can do. Um, because 33 damage is it's just not enough. It's just not enough to be killing regular players. It's just not. Um, I think this character is quite weak and pretty much loses most to all matchups by default. Um, due to the lack of range, like a lot of cactus, uh, a lot of cactus are like fire, fire cactus, ice cactus, power cactus, red cactus. Pretty much every cactus. Maybe not so much as end cactus. Um, but pretty much most of the other cacti, um, you can do okay at close range, um, because the, the the fire rate is, is decently quick on all of the cactus, most of them, not all of them, but most of them. So this is certainly not an aggressive character, and if you're not into camping, it is realistically. Probably one of the worst characters in the game. Um, however, if you're like myself and don't mind camping in the back, then she's not too bad. I still would not say she's upper, t upper tier of cacti. I think you might as well use future cactus or um, zen cactus, red cactus, fire cactus, power cactus. You know, pretty much any cactus that isn't like bandit cactus because. Like I say, I'm more into camping, so bandit cactus isn't really for me. Um, but this cactus, it, she certainly um, plays the role of camping. Usually, I think she's quite good if you want to go for like a high kill streak. Um, just sitting in the back, um, that can be quite good. But again, if you get if you get pushed up on, you you probably are gonna die. And I think that is probably the biggest weakness and let down with this character is the fact that it, like in a situation like that normally you would just be dead yeah, but obviously he's only normal AI um, so 66 damage it ain't that bad but compared to how quick other cacti shoot and the fact that they have better range realistically 66 ain't actually as good as it seems to be when compared to other cacti um but like i say in ranking up this character it probably is one of the characters that took the longest despite me not actually finding her that bad as a, as a character so i do think this character comes down to mostly preference and um, if you enjoy camping in the back then I would recommend trying this character out at least. Um, like I said, at the low ranks, um, she's not going to be performing that well, so it might be a struggle at first. But um, yeah, uh, I do think that when maxed, she is usable. Again, I don't think she's upper ban. I don't think she's one of the best cacti. Um, I think a lot of people either think that she's like god tier or like completely useless and i'm one of the people that think like in what she does as in camping in the back and picking people off she could be classed as god tier but the way that she does it and the, the major downsides that she has makes her that she's just she's just like she's bang average for for what you want her to do as a character overall however she's she's probably a, a very weak character to, to be totally honest um yeah, just very like great range but close range is non-existent mid range is almost non-existent and she, when you zoom in it's very slow obviously you can increase in the settings but i don't want to be zooming around but i don't want to be going this slow either so it's tricky when you got like a super brains up close and personal or an imp and if an imp's close to you, you just die that's the, it's just the major downside with this character she pretty much can't defend herself which is not a good thing in a character you don't want to be sitting there without any protection at all it's just you don't really want that 
But yes, you've got the potato mines to help. Yes, you've got the walnuts, but are they really going to do much? No. So, overall, um, we'll check what uh, upgrade she has first. I'm pretty sure it's a damage, ammo, and a reload. I actually have a speed on over the reload. I didn't even know I had that on. So, in fact, that is a good, actually, that I have that done that. Um, because you just saw how slow the reload is. And uh, this is the reload when it's actually on. So, it, it, it's still quite slow. It's like, if you're getting pushed now, look how long it's going to take for you to fight back. And you still can't do anything anyway. So, I think... And so she didn't actually, I don't believe actually, just while we had a brief check there, I don't actually think she gets a reload upgrade if I'm going to stop mistaking. Yes, yeah, so she doesn't actually get a ammo upgrade or like a double reload, which I feel like would be a bit better if you had double reload on this character. However, she doesn't. She actually gets a penetrate upgrade. Now, again, um this kind of a upgrade is i don't want to say it's completely useless but like it's on the border of being completely useless because it's very very rare occasion where you're going to be hit, hitting multiple dons at once it's 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 it, it's, it's more than likely not going to happen um overall however um to finally evaluate this character i would say that she, for the most part, is quite bad overall as a character. She has no range, um, not no range, no close range fighting skills. She cannot protect herself at all. Um, her movement speed is quite slow. So you can't retreat from the fight. You pretty much just have to stand there and accept it. Her range is good, but still slow reload, even with the upgrade. Slow fire rate, not much ammo. There's a lot of downsides. High damage, I guess. 66 damage is quite strong. However, you could just use future cactus that's going to do way more damage. And shoot far quicker with more ammo. And better close range fighting skills. So I don't really know why you would um, necessarily use camo cactus over future cactus. However, she is decent. I guess, she, again, she's not the best. I would not advise anybody to pick her if you're not um, going for the uber long range fights in turf. If I wasn't going for max rank, like level 1 to max rank, I probably would have ended up trying this character out. Thinking she's awful and never using her again. That's the kind of character that she is. So, yeah. Um, overall, not the best. However, can be usable in some scenarios. Um, so yeah, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode, um, so I hope you enjoyed it, uh, please do leave a like, and subscribe if you're new, I would like to see more of these uh, character reviewing episodes, I'm going to aim to do um, one every day, um, that could change depending on the time I get, however I will aim to do one a day, um, so yeah. Um, leave any suggestions below um, of a character that you want to see next, if you would like a specific character next. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Peace out.